So good morning, everybody. Today we've got Les joining us. Les is going to be telling us a little bit or lots about what he does and how perhaps he can help you as a member. So good morning, Les. How are you today? Morning. Yeah, very well, thank you. Good. So uh, we're going to be asking you a number of questions. So I'm just going to get started with um, a few quick fire ones. So tea or coffee? Uh, tea. Don't drink coffee. No. Cats or dogs? <laughs> dogs. Cats are evil. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a bit of experience there. <laughs> Would you prefer an activity holiday or something more relaxed? <sighs> relax. Work's so busy. You just need to relax. So. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of get that actually. Although I think a lot of us are relaxing at the moment, not having to go into work. So it's quite good for those of us who work from home. <laughs> so thank you for that, Les. So now let's move on to finding out a little bit more about you and your business. So what is the name of your business? Uh, we are Brook and Roos and Co, um, Chartered Accountants. Right. How long have you been doing this? Ha, that's a very good question. Um, <laughs> <laughs> too long, I would just say. Um, I started as an accountant when I was around about 21 as a trainee um, and I'm in my early 50s now so everybody can work that bit out. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so, so, so quite a long time, yeah, and a lot of experience I guess, so that that's, brings it to the fore. So actually then when I ask about what other jobs you've had? Yes, yeah, so I have had other jobs, yeah, because when I left college I was, I was a salesman for a few years, so I, sell, I sold meat products. So oh. things like pies and sausages and things like this, yeah. I was the youngest salesman on the force. So, and that's um, an interesting change from selling uh, meat products yeah. to... Yeah, I worked in one day and decided I'm not going to do this for the rest of my life. I want to be an accountant and that was it. So. Okay, I'm sure a few people would have probably something to say about that, choosing the yeah, accountancy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Everybody wakes up in the morning and thinks they're going to be an accountant. Oh, yeah, so. not everybody. No, not everybody, exactly. So tell us more about your business and how it can help our members. So. Um, we are based, well, we have three offices. Our main office is in Westerham Mayor, but we have a, I run our Portshead office and we had another office in, in Winscombe. We, um, the, the company Booking Roos was a partnership between uh, two, two guys, Norman Brookin and Brian Roos. Um, and we purchased the practice from them, having worked for them as a management buyout in around about 2005. So um, just over, about over 15 years ago, uh, um, five of us bought the two partners out and we have one office then um, our vision was to um, to have several offices because because we went from two partners to, to a to a five partner firm overnight so we then bought um, Portishead in 2008 and Winscombe in around about 2014-ish oh, uh, to accommodate um, our growing work portfolio really. So I still look after a portfolio of clients in Western, um, a smaller portfolio these days, and mainly just work four days in Porter's Head. And love it, I love Porter's Head. It's, it's a fantastic place to work, um, quite relaxed, um, good people, uh, good chamber obviously. Uh, absolutely, <laughs> and, absolutely. <laughs> yes, and, and, and a good, uh, good set of clients. And we are here, uh, as I said, we are a general practice. So we look after um, a, a range of clients. So a range, of, you know, we can go from um, just doing a tax return for an individual with with income or rental properties, right up to um, we do uh, la larger limited companies. Um, we're audit registered, so we do we order audits um, and a various scope in between. We do some charity work, so we do uh, work for charities. Um, we give a bit back to the community, so I, I do some work um, pro bono, let's put it that way, so we don't charge. And um, so we do everything, and that's what we're here for. We're here to support our clients in hopefully building their business and being prosperous. And so, we do, uh, sorry, so we do that by. Um, all of our clients have a point of contact. So all of our points have, have a contact with one of the partners and that's their original point of contact. So we, we try to manage um, all our clients through ourselves. And, you know, they want to ask us a question. We're always here. We're here to help them and so to provide that assistance for them. 
Well, that's really good. How have you, um, as a team, coped then throughout this situation with the COVID? I'm sure there's been quite a lot of contact with your clients with wanting to know what they can, can't do, how yeah. to do it. Yes, challenging, especially in the first few weeks where, um, you know, we all we knew is what the government were advising and everybody else knew. So we were all we were trying to do is really regurgitate the information in parent fashion to them because we know it, we didn't know anything else. Um, so it was it was it was challenging challenging and for us as well as a, as a business to um to close offices we close our offices and have staff working from home um to support the business and then especially when the when the furlough claims or the furlough scheme come on board we do a, a substantial number of payrolls for our client and um which meant we had to have our staff working from home processing those furlough claims and trying to get those out to the clients and, and trying to get the money to them. And it was, it was very challenging, very, very challenging. We went from, we have four members in our payroll department. We had to put extra resources into that with other staff just to manage the situation. Gosh. It was, it was difficult, but we come through it. Yeah. So do you feel like you've got a handle on it all now? And a hundred percent. Yeah. And you know, the, the, the first days of furlough was, was, was interesting because they changed the rules just before they, they, they initiated, uh, they set one sort of set of rules out and then changed it before the, um, the start of the scheme. So any work we'd done before that was none involved on us. So we had to go back. Mm. Gosh. Yeah. So yeah, so it, it created work or double the workload really. So yes, we are. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. So as a team of people, you've not been sat at home enjoying the back gardens and doing the gardening then. Yeah, I've been in work. Um, I've been <laughs> working today. Yeah. Too and, and, and more as well, because mm -hmm. yeah, it's, 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 as I said, it's been very challenging and very challenging, you know, for our clients as well, because, you know, there are certain clients who have, have, have struggled and will continue to struggle. And so we've provided, you know, information where we can and help where we can with regard to um, the claims, um, banks back loans. Um, we provide information if they don't know about that. Yeah. Try and help them through the situation. Well, that's really good. Um, that's really great. Thank you for that, Les. Um, I've just got a couple of other questions for you now, just a little bit more about you. So, what did you actually want to be when you grew up? I know you said you woke up one day and wanted to be an accountant, but when you were sort of maybe a lot, lot younger, what did you fancy being? <laughs> I forgot. As you know, I always. I always thought I wanted to work in an office for some reason. No idea. My mum worked in an office. Um, my dad was <laughs> and very hands-on and, and did, did a lot of gardening. Um, but I never got that gene. So um, I, I went over to my mother's side. So um, I always wanted to work in an office. And, but didn't know what I wanted to do. And that's all it came down to. No. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So um, last question then. Have you got any hobbies that you'd like to share with us? <sighs> um, I enjoy riding, so I've got two bikes. I've got a hybrid, which I ride with the family, but I've also got a road bike, which um, which I which I take out and and go on longer rides. So um, I enjoy that. Traffic is uh is, is interesting. Some points the roads are interesting because uh, yeah they can be, but it grits you out. It, it's um, one of those things mm. you can get out yeah. by yourself and ride, and it, it, it takes you away from the stress of life. Um, so I enjoy that. Um, I enjoy boating. I used to have a boat. I haven't anymore, but I have friends with boats, which is which is which is uh, which is good. So I managed to sometimes get out on the water, which is which is fantastic. Oh, and I, I, yeah, my guilty secret is um, I do I do ballroom dancing. Oh, oh there we are. <laughs> That's something we'd never have known when you were talking yeah. about cycling and boating, and then in the middle of all that, ballroom dancing. <laughs> yeah, for about four and a half years, if some of that. Yeah, so um. Yes, off the back of Strictly, obviously. Obviously. Uh, but, um, you know, everybody watches and you think, oh, I'll have a go at that. So we did. And, oh. and actually, it's really, really good fun. You meet some really nice people. You do. Um, I, I've done that actually as well. So, yes, it's um, Latin and ballroom. Yes. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not the greatest Latin uh, dancer, but I do enjoy the ballroom. So. Yes. Yeah, likewise. No, that's great, um, Les. Um, that was really interesting. Thank you very much. And thank you for coming along today and sharing with us. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks for the time.